Hello, Magic players. It's Corn Time 60, that corny guy, back to draft more Brothers War. Hope everyone's doing all right. Hope nobody is going through any serious problems, but if you are, hopefully watching this dumb Magic the Gathering video will help cheer you up. Or something like that. I don't have anything much more meaningful to say about it, unfortunately. And here we go. Wow, Scrap Trawler, though. Scrap Trawler might be better, frankly, than the Razor Lash Transmo Grant. Get rid of the AI ratings. Scrap Trawler's at the top. I am not surprised at all. Turned our artifact card. Yeah, Loran's pretty good. Cindermaw. They really put Clear Cutter that far up there? It doesn't seem that good to me. Our Gothian Sprite seems better. I do like Mike Stone's animation. Loran and Cindermaw. I think Scrap Trawler's the best here. And I think Scrap Trawler. Definitely the best one out of those. Draw an artifact or creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Maybe. What is this? Eight mana, five, five flying with bad fire breathing. Or a three mana, five, three. Or, I mean, excuse me. Three mana, one, three. With the same ability. Power Stone Fracture has always been good. Hero of the Dunes, I don't know. Pretty impressive signpost on common. I'm sure it is. I just, you know, I'll try it. I've never done white black and succeeded. Legendary creatures are planeswalkers. Does not seem super duper. But Rager seems all right. There is Swa Swa. Where's the Swiss Spear? Okay, it's only a 2.5. It isn't nearly as good in Limited, yeah. Agreed. Rager's good. I really don't like the self-mill cards. I really don't like them. Rager is easy, though. Easy to hit 4 mana. This is whenever they're put into the... Put into the graveyard. Unwinding Clot. Actually doesn't seem that great here. Steel Exemplar is an easy pick, though. AI puts Epic Confrontation above it, which is reasonable. Skull Flayer, when I first, like, when I looked at the spoilers, I thought Skull Flayer was going to be insane. But it's actually harder than you might think to get three creature cards in your graveyard by turn three or four. Without, like, honestly, things going terribly. A winding clock is worthless, right? Yeah. What could it... Some potential application of power stones on plot road of mana sinks. Yeah. Yeah, come off it. It's just not good. Subjugation's really good. I think subjugation's just the best card in this pack, honestly. Probably not going to end up running Hero of the Dunes. And then I'll wish I had picked that uh, Fracture. Yeah, Subjugation's the best one in the pack, I think. Elsewhere Flask is pretty good, too. Quiet as Spike. Death Touch, and whenever it deals damage, they lose half their life. Not bad. Not bad. Rock is good. Realization is good. Trench Stalker is an absolute beast horror. Honestly, I cut the Hero of the Dunes. Coilos Rock would be nice. How big is Quiet a Spike? Three mana to play and three to equip. Since it's always half, it never really kills them. Uh, Gruesome Realization is just plain card draw. Plain and simple. Draw two cards. I like it. Curate, I think. 
Here we go again. Drafting the blue black deck. Let's get the refractor. If I did go with the Power Stone Engineer, I just don't see it being that good, honestly. I'll see if anyone has fun names. Meandering Moose, that's a fun name. Not much more time to think about it, though. Uh, Power Plant Worker's okay. Carrion Locust is some good little graveyard hate. I think Air Marshal, yep. Air Marshal, so I have some cheap creatures. Meandering Moose, Delicola, Sting Stringer. String R. Look, the Power Stone Fracture wheeled, so it didn't matter. String R. Mylithium. Mylithium. Kuru. Nitro Mob. And Mikazwa. Yeah, Nitro Mob is probably my favorite here. Nitro Mob is nice. Meandering Moose is funnier, but, um... Yeah, Nitro Mob is funny. Two. I have one creature. One, two, three, four. Okay, I have four creatures. Alright, here we go. Blue Black Artifacts. I just run the same deck over and over and over again. Phalagi Archaeologist. People really like Phalagi Archaeologist. I don't know why. It's, I don't like it. I don't have any legends to trigger that. Probably won't run that unless I have to. Probably won't run that unless I have to. I'm not crazy about Thran Vigil. We're not really building around Scrap Trawler. You don't really need to build around Scrap Trawler, honestly. Am I still recording? Yes. You don't really need to build around Scrap Trawler for it to be good in this format. There's such an absurd amount of um, artifacts. Yeah, sure. Dig site can go on the side. Probably won't run that. Dragon Engine's an easy pick. Another Hero of the Dunes. Yeah, but Dragon Engine, though. I don't even have to be in red. It's a 3-mana 2-2 two, two for Striker. I mean, Double Striker. Right? What? People not think it's that good? It's a 4-0. Okay. Even if you can't produce red mana, because it's pretty good. Stern Lesson is also really good, though. I do need creatures. I think. Four, one, two, three. I have nine cards. Nine cards and only four creatures, so I have five non-creatures. One, two, three. Yeah, Dragon Engine it is. Uh, am I supposed to go in red now? Is that what this is supposed to be signaling to me? Because Explosion's pretty good, and Little Mishra is pretty good. Emergency Weld is also good. Getting a 2 for 1 is harder for a 1 1, but. Yeah, Emergency Weld seems better. Uh, don't get me wrong, Excavation Explosion's pretty great. And Blitz Automaton is pretty great, too. And Splashing Red would be a realistic choice right now. But I like Emergency Weld too much. Stern Lesson, I think the Zephyr Sentinel's better, though. Yeah. Really do like Stern Lesson, but Zephyr Sentinel's better. What I need is some ways to sacrifice artifacts other than the one Power Stone Fracture. Thopter Mechanic. There's another Trench Stalker. Might Stone's animation would also be good in this. 
I think Thopter Mechanic's by far the best card here. Yep. Apparently the AI, the AI agrees with me. I would probably pick Trench Stalker before I would pick Mightstone's animation. And they put Trench Stalker way down as a two... The card's crazy. Gaining four life is nothing to scoff at. Another Thopter Mechanic. I'm not even gonna think about it. Another Weakstone Subjugation versus Coilos Rock. Now this is one I have to think about. Look at all these two drops. Right now I don't have any flyers. I might not run the Dragon Engine, honestly. I have three cards that draw an extra card right now. Oh no! I'll get the Coilos Rock. That may have been a mistake, though. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it a mistake to grab Coilos Rock over Weakstone Subjugation? Because I know Weakstone Subjugation's really good, but Coilos Rock is also really good. Could also go Mono Blue here, but that's dangerous. I've learned that being monocolor does not pay in this format. Um, Locust, I guess. I guess Firebomb is potentially great with Scrap Trawler. You just keep getting it back. <laughs> no, it's too greedy. Oh, there's another Subjugation. Better than Disfigure, in my opinion. Yeah, Disfigure's decent, but Subjugation is a more permanent solution to most things. Alright. Another Rager would not be bad. A Skull Flare also wouldn't be bad, and now I really am thinking about getting the Goblin Firebomb. I don't know, Rager's pretty decent, but this is, uh, earlier. Avenger. I've never actually run Argivian Avenger, so let's take a look at it, you know? Millstone's probably not actually good. It's too much mana. Mines, like mountains, are never so grand and mighty that they can't be reduced to dust. Nightstone's animation's really good. Surprised that made it around this far. Probably won't play the Ornithopter, but it is an option. Feel the same way about Ashnod's intervention? 12, sure. What are my worst cards? What am I actually thinking about cutting? Probably Tower Worker could be cut. I, I don't like that. See, at best I'm like drawing two cards or something. Or is it Faithful Handoff is a zero. This is bad. If you're giving them a one or two mana card, it still isn't worth it, since it's four mana to draw, yeah. Honestly, terrible, terrible card. Go for the throat, way better. I don't know how good Mystic Forge is right now. I actually don't know. They give it a 3.0. Very artifact heavy. I don't know. To me, it's between Mystic Forge and Latinam Adept. How many artifacts do I have? Six? Two, three, four, five, six. And one of them I might cut. And maybe Mystic Forge actually isn't worth it. 
Latin name adept is pretty solid. Number of instants and sorceries, which probably isn't very many. Yeah, five in the whole deck. So that's not going to be worth it. Oh, it does give first strike. Which is okay. Battery Bearer is supposedly good since it lets you generate shitload of mana, but I don't know. Perilous Vault. No, nope, Power Stone Fracture. Spot removal. It's the spot removal for me. Are any of these assembly workers? Nope. No, they're not. Probably won't run any of these, but I think self assembler is the best. Oh, Blitz Automaton as a seven drop is kind of. Surprise, motherfucker, you know? I'll cut it for now. Suchi Cave Guard's not bad. Combat Courier might be better. Because I have plenty of things that benefit from the draw two, but not a lot of things that let me draw that second card. One. Two. Three. Four. F five. I only have five things that are going to let me draw that extra card, so now I have six things that let me draw the extra card. Thraxo Demons, actually pretty good here. I don't care for the, uh, the, uh, Urzatron thing. The Urzatron creatures are nothing compared to the Urzatron lands. Uh, of course Fateful Handoff went around. Jalum Tome might be worth it here, honestly. Since it triggers all these draw two cards. Another emergency weld is also not bad. I'll get Jalum Tome. Probably won't run it. There's that other emergency weld. Desync is not bad. I have one, two, three, four removal spells. That would push it to five. Eh. Probably not running any of those. Might run a second Coilos Rock. Probably won't run a second Coilos Rock, but I might. We'll see. Two cards over, but I'm kind of okay with it right now. Would love to get some other two mana draw card artifact. But I don't expect to. So that's one, two. Excuse me. One, two. Three. Four. Five, six. Six cards that draw me an extra card. Another gruesome realization. Wait, Air Marshal's actually good. I mean, uh, pretty much only gives itself flying in this context, but a 2-mana two 2-1, two you can pay 3 to make it fly for a turn. It's not the best, clearly, but it's also not the worst. I'm more blue than black, and I am a few cards over. I can cut one gruesome realization. And one air marshal. I think I like it like that. Very early. Heavy on the early cards, but should be able to outpace people just by drawing cards, making my little creatures bigger, stuff like that. At least that's the plan. We'll see if that's how it works. Because it might not work that way. OG Fink. Not a kitchen Fink? I'll keep it. 
The emergency weld means I can um, just let this trade with something, even if it's not ideal, because I can just get it back. Um, no thanks. I'll wait, though. There's no reason to do it on purpose. Curate? Yes, please, to both of these, honestly. I could subjugate that, but I kind of don't feel like I need to. Probably play Scrapwork Rager next. Okay. That's loud. All right, Scrapwork Rager. Feel like taking four? I guess so. Two subjugations in hand. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot that that does that. He milled himself. Silly. All right. Uh, Fracture's not bad here. I can just Fracture, kill his 2-1, and then swing. It's still double block. Let's just swing, see what he does. Dope. I'll take it. I mean, I have four power, so... Sure. Nope, nope, wrong thing. Wrong two drop. Bunch of little dudes. Let's see, so I can air marshal and power stone fracture that giving up you. I might just swing out and never mind the Thopter mechanic. Cause even if he makes that trade, like That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Scrapwork Mutt is not bad. Transmogrant's Altar. Mistress Research Desk, which he's gonna pop to try to get a land, but didn't he play a land this turn? Until the end of your next turn. I like the, uh, on Mishra's research desk, I just see a Nuka-Cola Quantum on there. Oh, he did not already play land this turn. I was mistaken. He still had the ability.
Argivian Avenger. Which I can give flying. I think I've got him. Unless he has a board wipe. And even if he has a board wipe, I can kind of recover through Scrapwork Rager and two weak stone subjugations. Look at this, I got like primo removal and I'm just doing nothing with it. Gixus Command! That's pretty good. Oh, he killed both. Shit, man. Let's just play you as a 4-4 with Trample. That's fine. He did have a board wipe. I gotta give it. I'll give him that. Right. Hey, this that land's actually not as bad as I thought it was. That's risky. That's very risky, Mr. Opponent. Unless you have another blocker, that'll be game. He's gonna unearth that. Alright, he's dead. Yep. Yep, you're dead. I just flash that back and swing out. Or unearth. I don't even have to use my removal. It has trample. There we go. I did not... I honestly... I didn't expect Gix's command to function as a board wipe there, but I also wasn't even thinking about that. I uh, was saying, well, what if he has a board wipe? I was not thinking of Gix's command, even though I should have been. Um, I'll keep this. Yeah, sure. Our Givian Avenger really did nothing last game, but... You know, it might be cool to draft a different archetype, but I have not had luck with any of them. I've only had luck with this one, so... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right. When are they gonna do that? Uh, there was in um, Time Spiral, I'm pretty sure. They had like fortifications or something. Or it was essentially you equipped a land and it gave it an effect. I thought that was a cool idea. Um, that's all for the trade, first off. Either way, I'm playing Air Marshal. So let's see what they do. I'll play my own Air Marshal. Um, I will take the trade. Sky Strike. Not bouncing. It's not tapped and attacking, right? Yeah, it's not tapped and attacking. But that card is broken. It might be enough to kill me. It might just be enough to kill me. 
It's not even you lose a life. It's just tap them, draw. I'll just play as a 4-4, I think. Yeah, I wish I could cast him as a 6-6, but... I'd rather hold up the Avenger. Fly in Vigilance, Death Touch, or Haste. Attacking. I mean, of course he is. No blocks. Well, he doesn't have other flyers, though, so I'm not sure that's wise. What? Okay, static net on the exemplar. He still takes three. Oh, well, he gains two, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. I was just thinking that's the card I needed. Um... I think killing Sky, Sky Strike Officer is correct. Even if I don't exactly like it, Avenger afterwards, like next turn, should be pretty good. I give it flying and vigilance, it hits for an extra three. If I just give it vigilance, then I start knocking down his creatures. Of course, he could just have something nuts and just kill me out of nowhere. I mean, even this hitting me for six is pretty good here. Wish lifelink was on this list. Not a lot of life gain in this format. Argivian Avenger. No! Can I race? I can't race, but I can't afford not to try. Did I get a Trench Stalker? I think I didn't get a Trench Stalker. Means I do not have life gain. Warlord's Elite. Um. See, now things have changed a bit. Because I can just block, 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 pop. There, that'll help some. Wing Commando! Alright. It's actually a problem, isn't it? Wait, I'm dead either way, aren't I? I don't have any board wipes. Say I take that out of commission and block that. that uh, I still take four. Yep, okay, I'm dead. I, I had no way I love Lamp. I just noticed their name. That's pretty funny. That's a reference to the movie Anchorman. Alright, I lost. So let me take a look at the deck and think what... What would have helped a lot? Gruesome Realization would have been kind of nice. 
Jalum Tome to cycle through some lands would have been decent, I guess. Or was I even flooded? I don't remember. But Argivian... Steel Exemplar was good one game and then bad the next. Argivian Avenger was not great both games. I may cut the Avenger and one land. How many double black do I have? One. How many double blue do I have? Zero. So let's cut one land. Streamline it a little. See what difference that makes, if any. All right. Androck. Androck, do you love lamp? I keep. I have one creature. What more could you ask for in limited? The good draws, I guess, would be what you could ask for. Play Thraxo. Gets plus one, plus one, and deals one damage to me. Oh, he discarded the Juggernaut. That's pretty good. Prison Sentence. Sure. Stop activate abilities, too. Yes. Yes, it does. I'll take two. I mean, he knows he'll take two back. But he's probably fine with it. Um, you know what? Decline. And Scrap Trawler. Kind of dangerous putting down Scrap Trawler with no artifacts in the grave, but no big deal. Can play Rager next turn. Power Plant Worker's alright. Opponent does nothing! Um, why? One, one, two, three. Yeah, I think that's right. I'll just hold up Curate for my turn. Shell. Sure. All right. Threw a good chunk of my removal at him already. We'll take the Power Stone Fracture, even if it's not super duper right now. If he does want to make those trades, he can, and I will not mind. Sure. Yeah, I have no targets. And pass. I could throw the Thraxo Demon at something, but eh, he'll probably play something better, right? Even Tower Worker is a better target.
Kill it. Um. Do I want to risk my scrap trawler? I think I'm okay with risking the scrap trawler, actually. If he has the whirling strike, then you know what? He has it. Not sure how good mass production is. Ambush paratrooper, well, it's good with that. Two creatures in grave. Probably soon to be one, because I'll flashback. Yeah, he can punch me with the juggernaut, but I'm not sure that's the right choice. I think this is the right choice for me. Ouch. Why would you take the two? All right, I mean, sure. Take a free get in for two damage. Another unleash shell, well that hurts. Not gonna lie, that really does hurt. Oh shit. And he does have the ability to pump his team. <sighs> Is he gonna pay five here? Probably not. So no blocks. Holy crap. Okay. Yep. On you, let's. That's a land. Look at that. 10, 11, 12 of my... 12 of my 16 lands. Only have four left. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four. Seven. Oh no, that's more. That's more than enough. I am dead. Why did I draw so many bloody lands? I don't get it. I don't get why I drew so many lands. Is like I can't go under sixteen lands, can I? Like I, I don't feel like I can realistically go under sixteen lands and still hit land drops. Is the other problem. I'll throw in Supply Drop and Jalum Tome. A couple random three drop utility artifacts. See how it goes. Hopefully, I will have completed some kind of quest and be able to draft again, although who knows if I will. Tonight, I mean. I mean, I will draft more. Hawaiian Cowboy, that's a fun name. Um, you know what? I guess so. If I draw a swamp, it gets really good. There we go. Gixian Infiltrator. Three mana, three colors. Airlift Chaplain. Some of those cards I don't think is that good. Makes it a 2-2, two -two. sure. Uh, I'll attack. You wanna trade? That's fine with me. Skull Flare. Is he gonna recommission it? 
Nope, he's gonna play another one. Is he gonna get back the planes? Nope. He has plenty of planes. I guess technically I should have swung first. Potentially playing around the one-drop combat trick. Oh, that's funny. He's not a soldier. Alright. Uh, yeah. Energy refractor? Loran's escape! Let's keep him tap. No attacks. We're playing these hideous sleeves of this ugly character. It makes me angry. It's so ugly, it makes me angry. Uh, let's curate. Gruesome realization. How good is that right now? Half decent. Half decent, honestly. Doctor mechanic, probably better. Top deck, because then I can play both creatures. And I can play that next turn. Feel like trading? Nope. Take five. Soldier? 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 No soldiers. That's okay. Argivian Avenger! That's pretty good. draw. Did I already play a land? I sure hope not. Very cool. Um, I think I throw the sentinel at it and swing with the 6-6. Six, six. Or just throwing the mechanic at it better since I get a 1-1 one, one flyer. Um... Honestly, throwing the Skull Flayer might be correct. It is my least useful creature right now. Feel like taking eight? I guess not. Well, now any card draw I can draw is pretty good. Okay, it flies. Are you gonna swing for five? That seems like a bad move. If you ask me, I don't know. I guess you didn't ask me. Uh, either of those can fly, but either of those can die. So, let's swing out. Seems like a bad choice, but okay. I'll pass. I mean, yes, to top deck some fire here. Why would you swing? Mass production, that is pretty fire, honestly. And they're all two twos? Sheesh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. He doesn't have any way to give flying, though. Let me think. If I block there, block there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm dead either way. 
Yeah, swing with just Opter mechanic, I think, is technically correct. Because he has to block. That eliminates one of his attackers. And I still have a blocker, which eliminates his ability to push through lethal. Although it's still... He can still drop me down to two, but... Being at two life is a lot better than being at zero life. That it? I don't have to block with my Thopter, and I do have a Might Stones animation. Do I not block with the Thopter in anticipation of maybe drawing Might Stones animation? It is my only buff spell that will actually change this around. Really hate to lose the draft here. Yep, there they go. Nope. Yeah, I mean, he's got a tough decision, I guess. Yeah, we'll take six. If you got a combat trick that pushes two extra damage in, then you got it. Military discipline only pushes in an extra one. I'll go down to one. Holy crap. Yep, that's game. I flooded out so hard. I have 10 lands, both of those games, when I'm running 16 lands? What the fuck? Variants. I drop down to tier 2. Okay. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. Shit happens, eh? Still just barely have enough to draft again. And, uh, maybe I will. That was a terrible enough loss that, uh, I can think about doing it again. <laughs> Alright, peace out, y'all.